Hello everyone, Sunly here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how to build a perfect and very simple conversion of Tango Tech's lovely multi-item storage system for the Java edition of Minecraft. Now, I had to replace probably about 60 or 70% of all of the redstone from his original build in order to get it to be functional and fully reliable on the Bedrock Edition. However, it's a very simple and easy conversion, which I don't think any of you guys will have any problems building in your world. And it also is a perfect conversion as well, meaning that there is zero loss of features and it works exactly the same as his Java Edition version, meaning that it's completely silent, there is no lost items, there is no items left in any of the elevators or hoppers or anything like that. There is no flaws with this system whatsoever and it's quite quite lovely actually in addition to changing the entire system in order to make it work on the bedrock edition i also added a couple small features as well basically i added in some indicator lights in the floor here which is actually extremely useful because when you unload redstone any type of redstone in this game uh it has the you know potential to break or you know misbehave so having these in the floor here tells you that hey this system is live it's sorting items and you probably shouldn't leave the area and i also changed the output to be a single block higher which just makes it easier to access and also look a little bit nicer so in case you're not familiar with what a multi-item storage system is it's basically the most customizable and most flexible type of storage system in all of minecraft because it allows you to store many many different types of items per chest so in this chest here we have like all of our different valuables we got diamonds being sorted in we got all of these other things being sorted in as well we also have like a chest for our enchanting goods one for our redstone things and you can lay out all of these chests to be different groups or different sections of items and you can lay them out in any way shape or form that you'd like it's really really nice before we do get into things, thank you very much Anahola Makai for getting me back into this project. Me and so many people I know have tried converting this system many, many times over like the past year, and we have all failed miserably. So uh, Anahola was actually able to get a functional version and sent that over to me and uh, really got me back into the groove of fixing the system. And that is basically why I'm making this video today. So mahalo nui loa Anahola Makai, do very much so appreciate it. So this, of course, being a full conversion of Tango Tech's multi-item storage system, you will need to go watch his tutorial, which will be linked in all of the places that you would expect it to be linked. And once you have watched that, you'll know everything that you need to know about multi-sorters and how this system works in its entirety. You will also want to go ahead and follow his tutorial because he already does an excellent block-by-block -block tutorial for this design right here. This is an exact replica from his tutorial, like basically copy-paste. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go through this version and rip out everything that we don't need and replacing it with all the stuff that does work. So to save you a little bit of time, uh, you don't need to build up these torch towers because we're going to be ripping out everything having to do with these elevators. You will also need an additional four blocks of space out the backside for our item elevators because one wide elevators on bedrock are pretty, pretty massive. Uh, so this in area in total is going to be 13 by 4, and that is pretty much all that you need to know. So go ahead and watch his video, come back here, and then we can start our conversion. One quick note before we get started with our conversion, I would suggest just having all of these chests here on the front be normal chests. That way you don't have any problems with the, you know, trap chests actually locking your hoppers on the backside. So just make sure all of these 12 double chests right here are normal ones. And we can begin. So if you did build up these torch towers, go ahead and remove these. If you didn't build these, then great, you saved yourself a little bit of time. We also want to remove all of the redstone with all of these elevators because nothing about these elevators at all works on the bedrock condition of Minecraft. And now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to build up a small one wide tileable silent elevator that works on bedrock. This is something I've done in a recent tutorial. And uh, this is going to be a slight modification of that. So you basically just want to build up a little circuit, a little bit like this. Have a block on the front of this comparator with a redstone torch right here. And then you want to make a small circle of hoppers just all facing into each other like so. So that one's going to be facing to the right. This one's going to be facing forward. That one's going to be facing to the right as well. And this one's going to be facing backwards. So if we remove that torch, we should see all these hoppers just uh, basically pass that item around infinitely, which is perfect. And then you can go ahead and put that torch back. So now we want a block right here. 
a comparator on top of that block going into another block and just a small torch tower right here just like so and a block right here a piece of powered rail or you can have an activator rail right there you also want an observer facing that powered rail just like so with a torch on the back side of it now you want to get a little bit of a tower of observers and all of these should be facing towards the back side of your build just like so as you can see they're all facing this way so now put a full line of blocks behind all of your observers just like so and install your torch tower which is basically just going to be an observer facing downwards right there redstone torch above it another observer another torch another observer and you should end on a redstone torch just like so and then you also want to replace this top dropper with a hopper facing to the side and if we go ahead and toss any old item into here we should see this all activate be completely silent of course and that item will end up in this top hopper fantastic so everything that we did for this elevator right here you also want to do on the other side as well it's going to be a perfect mirror of it the only thing special of note about the left side item elevator is how you do the hopper circle at the bottom so your first hopper right here should be facing towards the back of the farm of course and then you also want to have all of your other hoppers just of course you know wrap around in a circle and then just throw any old random item right in there so those were all the changes that we needed to make to the back side of the system you can now go ahead and remove this piece of redstone dust in that slab as well just to save a tiny amount of resources and now we're going to change up all of our circuitry down here at the bottom the first thing that we're going to do is hook up these two redstone torches right here into our comparator clock so you just want two blocks two pieces of redstone dust and a repeater right there on one tick we're then going to expand this uh, comparator pulse extender to have six comparators instead of four, just like so. And make sure you put those two pieces of redstone dust back. We're now going to change up this clock right here to be nearly twice as slow. So basically just go ahead and remove all of this. And we then want to put two pieces of redstone dust right there and a redstone torch right there as our uh, kind of control. Go ahead and put a repeater right here on three ticks one right here on four ticks and then you want a block behind that with a piece of redstone dust right there on top of it and that is all of the changes that you need to make to your lower circuitry we're extending this to make sure that none of our items ever get stuck anywhere in the system like in these hoppers or anywhere and we're also slowing down this entire system to make it much more reliable so that all of your items always go into your chest if they can go into your chest so uh, that is kind of the reasoning behind all of that. Now, if you want to install some indicator lamps for when this system is actually on, that is super simple. Place a block right above this redstone torch, redstone torch off the side of that, and then just replace these two things right here with redstone lamps, and that's gonna be right in front of your uh, chest. So anytime that this system is actually on, those redstone lamps will also be on. A final modification that you can make to this system is actually raising your output by a block. So uh, you don't need to do this to every system and it's honestly an optional thing, but you can have your output be right here at floor layer, which is a lot nicer to look at and a lot nicer to reach as well. And basically how you do this is just by remo removing this block, that repeater and all of that, and just moving this in by a block. So you just want to have yourself a repeater right here going into this hopper and then we're going to move our chest up by a block for reference remove these two hoppers and just have that going right there and that is actually a uh, super easy and little fix so if you want your output for your entire system to be right there you just add an extra hopper like so so doing that little modification for every section also gives you a little bit of an added bonus as well because this output line is now at the same level as your secondary uh, double chest right here, which means that it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to actually back up this entire system and this one as well. Uh, so if you throw in a ton of items into each of the input chests, then you could in theory back up your system. Uh, but with having your output line run into this chest right here, you're uh, you're kind of avoiding all potential issues. It's kind of a hard concept to explain, but it's basically just a little bit of an added safety feature. As a final demonstration for this system, I have a little chest of pre-assorted items. Each and every single one of these items in this little chest here can actually be sorted through our multi-sorter, except two of them, which is the pink concrete and the glowstone as testers. 
So let's speed up the video a little bit and see if any of the items fail to go through this system. And as you can see, nothing but the pink concrete and the glowstone made it through the multi-sorter, so it is a perfect 100% flawless conversion of Tango Tech's multi-item sorting system. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this conversion tutorial, then please do let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be trying to help you out as best as I can. But thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you get a ton of use out of this in your world. I know a lot of you have been wanting to build this system, and have it be fully functional for a very long time now and now you can finally build it and have no problems whatsoever which is really fantastic so if you guys did enjoy this little tutorial then please do leave a like on the video if you're new here consider subscribing i will see you all down in that comment section and in the next video thank you again for watching and then there was silence